Sunday the 24th of May and it's good to be back. Yesterday CRT lifted restrictions on moving, didn't they? Lifted some of the restrictions on moving due to the lockdown of COVID-19 and as we are on a 24 hour mooring, visitor mooring, visitor mooring um, we're moving today. So 24 hours are up. 24 hours are up. Um, the rest of the people that are on 14 day moorings can stay there till, till 6, of June. 6 of June. So as we are on a uh, visitor mooring of 24 hours, we've moved on today. And it feels fabulous. As per CRT instructions. Yeah. If you look around here, this is Honey Street, just off Honey Street, which we've been here for quite some time. In fact, we've been here. 25th of February. When Jonathan broke his ribs, so that was a total of, I think I worked out something like 93 days. Because from the extension of um, Jonathan's injury, CRT granted us an overstay, and then we ended up being locked down, which is why we ended up being there for so long. Right, we have a little bit of a boat which oh, is higher boat, boat which is not moored up which has just decided to come across us this is honey street boats yeah she's for some other reason they've taken a bow rope off yeah it's not come out oh this is some of the old wharf there a lot of these houses have been um changed into residential dwellings now um, and the barns are still being used and this one has just recently been sold and this is the old original sawmill which is still going strong so it's a few hundred years old that sawmill and we we um, used it the other day didn't we which was great fence post look at that lovely building see that be interesting to see what that becomes 124 and this is now Moonraker boats so we had Penny Street behind us and now this is the Moonraker boats and of course they've not been able to move they've changed the restrictions so the continuous cruisers like us have to move um, every two weeks if you're on a 14 day mooring as Maddie said earlier you can stay till the 6th of June because we were on a visitor mooring which in the winter we've worked for 14 days unless otherwise stated um, we've had to move but these higher boats because you're not allowed to stay on your boat unless you live aboard like we do um, you're not allowed to take these boats out and stay overnight so obviously they can't rent them out I don't know when those restrictions are going to lift no. I haven't seen any higher boats out not even technically you could take a day boat out like the one that just swam across in front of us which wasn't moored up properly I suppose they'll sort that out today um, so at the moment it'll only be CCers that should be moving and day hire boats yeah we've, we've been lucky um, where we've been moored because everybody else has had to move you could move for um, water for water which was essential trips or doctors or vets or, or things like that toilet Empty, yeah. um, but we've been lucky is the fact we were only moored how far away uh, less than 200 meters from the water point so we never moved the boat at all and uh, we had a aqua roll which jonathan walked up and down the towpath most days topping yeah. up our tank if not every other day yeah Five, um, five or six times, the top 40 litres at a time. Yeah. Piece of fit, they say. It does, yeah. So we've been, and so you've been busy doing that and doing odds and ends on the boat. Uh, and I was over my mum's when the lockdown came. Um, but mum had had a fall, so I was registered as her carer. So I was allowed to move backwards and forwards because of the, to look after her, which was what I was doing with the government she's guidelines. Coming on leaps and bounds. She is, yeah. Yeah, she's doing really well. Um, so, and then we had a problem with the storms, didn't we? Lost the fence in the back garden, yeah. and then it took us all this time, the last two weeks, well, we, to come. You rang somebody up, didn't you? And they, yeah. they said they couldn't come out until April, and then lockdown turned up, mm. and 
months, nobody's doing anything. Well, not a lot anyway. Yeah. Essential work. Um, but the sawmill there that we just passed, where you could ring or um, either ring up or do online an order, and they'd put it outside. You pay for it over the phone or whatever, or over the internet, and then you go and pick your order up. So I put the roof back on the car, got the four fence posts. And took them over your mums, didn't they? Yeah, and all the um, cement to go with it and all of it. So it was all done, which was brilliant. And then we had to do the same thing with screen fix. Yeah. <laughs> Order online, go down and queue up all in social distancing. And uh, pick up our bits and pieces of screws and things. Screws, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, screws. So we've got it done. Because as, as Jonathan was working the garden, he was, he was um, away from mum. So that was quite good. I haven't been near her. She hasn't been near her? No, you haven't. But it's just, we were lucky. It's, it's not a bad look, bad garden, so we can keep a, keep the distance. And so we've had a few repairs done. And you took a tree down and roots away. So we've I've kept him busy. Kept him busy. Managed to get a skip delivered. Yeah, that clean that. Last Tuesday. That got filled up by the afternoon. Yeah. So yes, that's what we're doing today. It, this, it was incredibly windy yesterday. Move the boat, the passenger's new. If the morning, I moved the car yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday um, evening, didn't you? Yeah, to a new spot. Uh, we, we haven't moored at a particular mooring where we're going to. Hopefully it's still empty because two boats came past us last night. So we're letting a few up the Cane Hill flight yesterday. Yeah, I think it's, you've got to book your passage. It's four slots a day at the moment because where, where they haven't been used, all the gates, the bottom gates have dried out and the, the water just gushes out of it. Yeah, it, so it needs to have friend, the water in to swell up again, don't Yeah, don't a friend of ours took the boat down for maintenance that had been booked in a dry dock down at Semington. And um, she got permission to go down for the locks last week, I think it was. Yeah. Um, of course, there's no volunteer lock keepers working. You've got to do it all yourself. It was this week, wasn't it? Sure it, was. it was, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. 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 And yeah. um, she told us that the gates were leaking so bad. Had it not been for the other boat that was with her that was also going down to the dry dock, she says she wouldn't have been able. I don't think she'd been able to open the gates. Um, so that's going to take some time, I suppose, as, as the slots are at the moment each day. Um, one day is up with boats and the other the next day is down. downward passage. Yeah. So in a couple of weeks they should swell up again and stop the leaks. Yeah, start filtering through. So that's what we're doing today, is just moving on. That's just new. And um, and then I'll be going over to Mum's because I'm so still looking after Mum. For a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all been... It's early doors at the moment. Yeah, very, very. I mean, I'm, I've been kept busy throughout this um, Covid because of mum and um, all the stuff with the choir was obviously um, cancelled, all the gigs that we had, but we were still meeting up online. Um, I've been also with uh, Gareth Malone with his choir online and this Mark Delis with his choir online. So it's all been really busy. Um, unfortunately I've had my judging appointments cancelled for showing dogs so I don't know where I'm going to be with that and that comes up. We've just got to watch the space and see what happens when things get lifted. So let's um, see what happens. Yeah this is the winded hole just after Honey Street. Um, used it a few times. So we're heading towards Wide Water which is what? <laughs> Lady Bridge. Yeah. Lady Bridge. And we're going on. Ornate. We've shown you that before. We have. But as you can see this is, oh and these are the um, butter burrs coming up. Giant rhubarb. Giant rhubarb as we say. But it was, what it was also doing, although it's a pain, it's actually keeping the uh, towpath secure. Warm. It is warm isn't it? Considering it's been a uh, it's windy holes. Not been used for a while, you can see. Not been used for a while. Not oh, had a lot of through that. there is that memorial of the plane that crashed. I'll put a link on that below. It's just there, through there. So it's a bit of a walk from Honey Street, but it's well worth doing. The engine's uh, saying, what are you 
It's been starting me up for God knows how long. No, because the solar has been brilliant. We, where we were moored, we had perfect solar. So, uh, the fact has been full up by about 11 o'clock. Uh, well, never enough. It's been um, quietly sat here for quite some time without the engine being used. So it is indeed bridge 123. One, two. Yeah, so it goes down then towards Reddit. I couldn't remember which way it went. It's been so long since I've moved the boat. It's not as if we haven't done it before, do you? I've done I it know. a few times. Yeah, down here a few times. But you do forget, it's quite strange, the routine that we had off to a tee, you suddenly get back on and you think, what do we do now? How do we do this? How do we secure the boat? How do we do this? The Jonathan's forever. Um, <laughs> Losing his the uh, Marbles. chimney, uh, chimney cow. Hat. Hat. I've got a new one to go on. Got yeah. it three weeks ago. I haven't put it on yet. I haven't put it on yet. The next, the next thing is going to be trying to get that chimney off. I tried a couple of months ago, and it was stuck solid. It's just been on there for a year. Yeah, but anyway, we've got to, it's got it. part of the routine maintenance, so the chimney will be completely cleaned out checked over, any repairs needed or replacements, yeah. that will be done. Um, we, we've used it, still used it a couple of times, even though it, it is really last night. coming into, May, uh, coming into pet, June. Probably put it on, but and that's in, at the end of May. End of May. Last week of May. Yeah. May bank holiday. Yes, it is indeed May bank Tomorrow. holiday. So it's um, interesting to see how many people will be silly enough to all congregate in one place today. Four years ago, you was in New York. Yes, I was in New York. Well, not on the date. This is Memorial Week in New York, in yeah. uh, America, and um, and I was over there with the girls, uh, with the choir singing. But that was at the end of May because I had my birthday in New York, which was quite unique. Yeah. With the girls and my daughter Charlotte. And I was babysitting. In Scotland. Granddad so. duties. There you go. Yes. <laughs> he enjoys it. It's been a long time since we've been up to Scotland. Yeah. Months and months and months. Oh, over Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Normally I go I go up in um, the beginning of July because it's Charlotte and Graham's wedding anniversary, so I go up to look after all the the um, dogs and the horses and um, oh, excuse me, I'm but, morning. Yeah, it's been a Sunday long time. morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. Yes, so uh, that's that what we do. Oh. But this year I think it's going to be different. And here is another entrance, entrance to the memorial of the plane that um, went down. Yes, it was windy yesterday and we keep seeing bits and pieces in the uh, cut. I cut the branches down when I walked back yesterday from parking the car up. Mm. And it looks like there's something down, a branch or something, it's not a tree, it looks like a branch. But we've got um, an old swing bridge um, sidings up here. The bridge isn't there anymore. But it narrows down and it looks like there's a, a branch down just before it. See a little bit of greenery in the water. The sun's coming out. Well, it's a little bit windy, so I do apologise. Oh, looks like we have a young family here. They've grown a bit. Oh, good. They've grown a bit. We had a lovely family of um, siblets, didn't we? By the boat, eight siblets and their parents. The they were tapping away. The granddaughter, do um, Lily, who we call Pickle. Pickle Hill. Pickle Hill again, Lily. Yes, so Lily, our granddaughter, our eldest granddaughter, who's been down here on the boat and has steered the boat a few times, um, she is one of those children that cannot take the GCSEs this year. So she left school at the beginning of lockdown and uh, she's actually got a job. She's working in a, in a stables, but she got an apprenticeship with the British Racing School. 
in um, Newmarket. I don't know how that's going to come, come off there. Yeah, so she's off to Newmarket in September. It's still on Close at the moment. Well, it's still on at the moment. Haven't she's got a date. Yet. So that's what they're heading for. So that would be interesting to see the uh, grand, granddaughter up in Newmarket. The racing school. So that would be interesting to watch. And I know I say this every time. It's just so cute. That's what we call a winner. <laughs> she is so cute. Magnus and uh, call her a winner. Beautiful. My favourite. Magnus and Wendy. Magnus and Wendy, that's it. That's it, if I remember her name. The winner. <laughs> I haven't seen them for three years this year. No, they may be coming back over. Watch the vlogs, but yeah. So hello, Magnus and Wendy, if you're watching. Used to be on that show. Well, they still are, but it's a different boat. Mm. We haven't really done any vlogs over lockdown because there's not really a lot we could say. Talk about no, not really. Everybody's been doing vlogs of going to different water points it's around. The, um, we didn't even do that, I walked it, so... Yeah, walked it many times, hundreds yeah. of times I would imagine you've done that over the well, period of time that we've been here. I don't know, I... Five or... Six. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's, yeah, it'd be over a hundred, it's probably about ten a week. If not more. If not more. But um, anyway, that's, so that's why we really haven't vlogged. I've yeah, used... So apologies for not vlogging. Yeah, we've, I've exhausted all my material that I had. So I do apologise to people that have said, oh, I wish your vlogs weren't so many months out of date. Um, it really wasn't interesting to film what we were filming. But lockdown came along. And well, it wasn't so much the lockdown, it was the storms that came up, wasn't it? First of all, we were going to go that's back true, to... That's true, because lockdown came on the week after they reopened the canals. That's right. We were, say, going down to do this continuation so, of filming, and, and I was going to put the drone up. So, that's me being bad there. Yeah, it wasn't being bad. It's just been... Your mind's been messed up with how long we've been here. It don't take a lot to mess my mind up. <laughs> So there's been no drone footage done because it was far too windy and safe for me to put the drone up. And um, I didn't want to lose it. I'm still quite... Novice. Oh, I'm terrible. I panic when I send it up. Because um, I know how much it costs. You're quick to get your licence though, aren't you? Oh yeah, that's what I've used it since. No, but I've got my licence. I did what I had to do and I've got my licence. <laughs> but I'm just... It scares me to death putting it up. I suppose I'll get over it. It's just confidence. It's always come back when I sent it up, but it um, scares me. I love it, but it scares me. Right, that's Windy Mile done. Got a heron down here on the left. I don't know whether he's going to stay there or whether he's going to take off. It's just coming up to view on the left-hand side, just at the front of this. Just nodding. Terry, Terry Gaxel. Chasing ducks now. This is the private moorings in between Honey Street and Wilcock. Uh, With lovely views, Woodborough Hill. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. I'm 
must admit, when it goes out, it gets quite cold. So we've been fortunate. I don't think we've really had such a long spell of beautiful weather that we've had since lockdown started. So yeah. it has been a bit, um, well, stressful to have such beautiful days where nobody can go cruising. Has been, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you know, at the beginning of this, when, when they shut everything down, and yes, we, we were in a good good spot there, a place for the car, water and everything else. But the thing that really got me, and, and it did affect me, was going shopping once a week. What, how weird is that? The thought of having to get off the boat and go shopping was giving me anxiety. Well, yeah, because it's weird. We, we have our own um, unit, which is the boat, the sealed unit, yeah. and people have to keep away from your boat, which is great, but to step off and then happen to go into to where people are, yeah. Well, right at the beginning, as, as we went into lockdown that week, I, I had a sore throat and I had a cough, and I don't know whether I... I know they say it's the symptoms. I don't know whether I had it or not, and I won't know until You've had I've test. had one of these tests. So I ended um, up being locked down with Mum. You, yeah, you locked down with Mum for two weeks. Yeah, I was on the boat on my own, and I think that's when it when it got to me because I, I wasn't going shopping. Mandy was going shopping and then dropping it off outside the boat for me. Um, it was probably three or four weeks in. So yeah, a month in before I went shopping and it was a real weird feeling of getting in the car and going to the shop for and i've been lucky i mean there hadn't been big queues to get in more recently um, i do my mum shopping for her once a week now um, i take that to her she's 91 she, she eventually got out on her harley that well, we call it her harley She's got one of these little mobility scooters. Well, things. your brother phoned from Belgium because he's locked down in Belgium. <laughs> yeah. To say he couldn't get hold of her. And could it, could he go around? Can't get hold of her. I said, well, I'll go around because I'm in Swindon. And um, so I got in the car and went over to Mum's. She'd just got back. She'd been down to the post box. First time she'd been out for months. And um, I think two days later, she, she went to the post office, which is in, in a co-op store. And when I went round to get her shopping for her, I said, right, what do you need? And she gave, she gave me a list as she does every Friday. And um, she said, I, I went down to the co-op. She said, there was, there was nothing on the shelves. I said, well, that's, that's what it's been like. Some things you can't get. I said, you, you, you get it when you see it. And she said, well, I've never seen it like that. She said, I haven't seen it like that since the war. She said, I used to queue up outside the shop. I said, well, we queue up outside the shops now. Which she saw when she came out, because there was no queue when she went in. And um, she was quite put back, I think. And I said, well, you're lucky there isn't a queue. I said, you can't stand in a queue. So I said, she goes down on a Harley. Sorry, mobility scooter. <laughs> um, and I think, I think she might venture out a bit more to the shop now. I mean, there's nothing stopping her. She's allowed to. She hasn't got any uh, underlying problems. It's just her age, and she's not very mobile. Yeah, my mum can't can't even do that because no. she's her she's blind, and um, so well, she's she very been restricted. Out the house. For no, not since my she stood in the garden. Not since well, not since my uh, my brother passed away, uh, which is sadly ten months ago. Um, so yes, it's very difficult for Mum. That's but anyway, we're doing are. it. It's the way things are. I don't know how the future is going to pan out. No, we don't. This, I think, this pandemic has opened both our eyes to the, the age of our mothers yeah. and um, what they need. Yes, it has. And luckily, we're in a because we we took early retirement. We've actually 
we're okay. Yeah. Um, we're not worrying about what our jobs are going to be like and you know being furloughed. Well, uh, so I mean, it could have been difficult for you because of what you were doing before you retired, and maybe well, for me, probably still had to have gone. In. So yeah, we were called us key workers. However, um, yeah, but we don't have that worry, which a lot, a lot of people. Is it? No, it's no, not. No, no, it's, it's a not. swallow. Swallow or swift. Dive down by the water and I thought, oh. Yeah. So yeah, we've been we've been really, really lucky. I know a lot of people haven't and we're blessed. We've done what we did. Yeah. Well, um, we're between us now we're making sure that our mothers are, have got what they need. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not been very nice for them. No, no. Loneliness, the rest of the family, you know, they just can't go and see them. I mean, we haven't seen our daughters. Well, I mean, obviously Charlotte's up in Scotland, but her, with the grandchildren up there, and Kate's down at Dorset with, yeah. with um, her children, our other grandchildren, and we haven't seen them. Although we did have a, a good little Zoom conference call the other day, yeah. uh, which was, was great. Weird. Which was great to see everybody on the screen, and, and my mother absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. She thought it was bee's knees because she could hear everybody, and occasionally. Um, catch a glimpse of something she recognised, yeah, which was great. Well, but unfortunately, we couldn't get hold of my brother. Now he lives in um, California, and we had tried to set it up as a surprise for him as well. That we were all going to be on screen together. But unfortunately, my brother wasn't around. Mind you, it was something like seven o'clock in the morning for him. Yeah. Um, he, he did text me later to say that he'd missed the time when he was out walking with the dog. So that was a bit of a shame. So we'll get you in touch soon, Steve, and get everybody on board again. Um, so that's what we've been up to. And isn't it great to see the cattle in the fields? Look at that. Yeah, they haven't been on lockdown. Beautiful have English scene. How stunning is that? It's been lovely to see everybody out. Must admit. And here we are. Lady Bridge. Lady Bridge. 120. Again, coming under and going into wide water. This was built for, especially for Lady Sarah Horton. Hence the name Lady Bridge. It's a lovely mooring spot mm. if you can get on it. If we can get in, we can get in. Tilt it up on the sides. We have managed it once and we got a brilliant TV signal, brilliant Wi Fi signal. Although that was quite funny that because there was nobody else here. Brilliant solar. Oh, it was lovely, absolutely lovely. We, we moored up here, nobody around, and within 20 minutes we had a boat right up behind us. <laughs> right up. Yeah. It was a higher boat right up behind us. So nice to see. We really have had the most gorgeous, gorgeous spell of sunny weather. In fact, very little rain, very little rain at all. And every time I speak to my brother or I, I video my brother in California, it's blown, been blowing a hooli, raining, and I, and I delight in showing the pictures of how blue the sky is. Well, that's California for it. They never had good weather over there, did they? <laughs> Cars, the cars are rusted out. Yeah, it's been so great. He's been so jealous, my brother. So jealous. He's been over there a few years now as well. He has, a long time now. Long time. So we call him the man from Hollywood. Well, that's what he calls himself anyway, so we stick to it, the man from Hollywood. That's how he signs himself off as the man from Hollywood. wide water. Yeah, the heron fishes here quite often. Normally just over there. Yeah, it's very quiet. Very really quiet. And it's very shallow the other side. Nice solar spot, yeah. Um, unfortunately the signs have been broken which is a bit of a... I'm not surprised at the wind we've had. Yeah, but it's very shallow which is why they try and keep us away from that bit.
Ready to go, that one. Yeah, don't think that's going to be standing for much longer. Right, can stay there for another 30 seconds. Can, yeah, yes, please stay there for another 30 seconds. Coming to a canal near you. Oh. Time we come down here, which was the tail end of last year, there was no leaves on these trees. No, look at it. And it can't be any more than 10 miles from here to Devizes. Oh, look at this. This is yeah, taking um, us. This fabulous little cottage in here. That cottage. The witch's cottage. The witch's cottage. Beautiful, I've though. never seen it looking so pretty. Go down to the woods today. Don't you dare put that video on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I am not. People on Twitter will understand when I say the word stay alert. D DM us and we'll tell you. <laughs> stay alert. <laughs> yes. It was a, it saying. Wasn't my opener. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Bring, brings a whole new meaning to stay alert. Bring three, three bears in the woods. Yeah. Anyway, onward. This is now bridge 119. And where are we? Spooky Woods. No, no, no. Spooky Woods at the other end of Rock Rock. As you go around to. Oh, okay. Rock. On that twist, as you go around that okay. bridge. The other bridge. Look at that big tree come down. Hmm. This is a, it's about a mile straight now, isn't it? Um, to Wilcock or past Wilcock. There's a pub here called the Golden Swan. Golden Swan, the Never haunted, there, yeah? the haunted Golden Swan. Yeah, some say there's a ghost in there that walks the uh, walks the house or the pub with one hand. Yeah. But we've not seen it yet, and um, I must pay a visit. Must pay a visit to see if I can see him. 